Tired of constantly cutting your calories, eating less and less each week just to lose five pounds? And when we do lose those pounds, does it seem like it only takes one, just one meal to regain it all back and then some? I don't know about you, but I am so ready to get off that hamster wheel. I'm not a doctor or licensed anyone, just a girl who reversed her health challenges, lost a bunch of weight with practical and sustainable habits. The back and forth yo-yo dieting with our weight leaves us vulnerable to prioritizing weight loss over well-being, chasing after and trying unsustainable diets and habits and exercise schedules. What if there were a way, actually five ways to lose weight without the headache and disappointment of another failed weight loss attempt? Baked chicken thighs, collard, mustard, turnip greens, cornbread, slices of tomato. This is how I grew up eating daily flash forward to when I decided I was a grown woman. I can eat whatever I like. That was when I had my first bout with weight gain. After several years of confusion around why I was no longer slim, I'm talking so slim my family made jokes about the fact that if the wind blew hard enough, it would blow me away. Then I had a V8 moment. When I compared what I ate as a child to what I ate as an adult, I discovered I had swapped fresh, minimally processed foods for highly palatable, highly processed foods. When I went back to eating my childhood way, hello weight loss. Consider your daily meals and ask yourself, are you consuming high quality whole foods? Lean unprocessed meats like chicken, fish, seafood, the rainbow of fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, and nutrient dense carbs like potato, rutabaga, squash, rice, oats, and other root vegetables. Be completely honest, how much processed foods do you consume on a daily basis? Can I ever tell you about the time I had to be rushed to the emergency room while enjoying a piece of fish? I got a bone or two lodged in my throat. I was told that eating bread was supposed to help push that bread down my windpipe, but it didn't. Going to the emergency room because you can't chew and swallow correctly, those aren't exactly difficult skills, are they? Whether you are eating high quality foods or processed foods, eating hurriedly leads to weight gain and, in my case, choking on a fishbone. Chewing our food thoroughly helps with carbohydrate digestion because carb digestion starts in our mouth with mixing with our saliva. Chewing food properly helps to break down that food in our mouths before it travels to our digestive tracts. This helps to activate our satiety hormone. You know, that hormone that alerts our mind, that tells our stomach that it's full. When that satiety hormone is well taken care of, there is less craving and overeating. You know what happens when we're not overeating, right? Adios, weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> As a rule of thumb, I like to chew my food until it reached liquid state. Yes, it takes longer to complete the meal. However, it was my first line of defense on my road to losing 60 pounds. So if weight loss is your goal and you would rather not keep cutting calories or obsessing over what to eat, then slow down and chew. The next way to lose weight ties very much in with chewing our food enough. Let me ask you, when you go to say a fast food joint, you walk inside, it's usually pretty brightly lit. There's nice trendy music happening in the background. Do you notice anything different about how you interact with your food? What about eating while watching an action pack or suspenseful movie? Notice anything different there? I don't know about you, but I tend to eat with the pace of the external stimuli happening around me. If the music is loud and fast paced, I tend to take bigger bites and chew faster and not thoroughly at all. Now contrast that with eating at a restaurant where the lighting is soft, the music is low, the whole place has a calm vibe to it. Do you think that would change your eating experience? For me, it does. I am no longer inhaling my food. I actually put my fork down between bites, sit back and experience the food in such a way that when I leave, I rarely have stomach discomfort because eating out when you have IBS, that's like playing a game of Russian roulette. There is something to be said about eating in a calm and relaxing environment with limited external stimuli. I find it much more easy to be aware of signals that say, fool, you can stop. No need for scarcity thinking here. There will be more later if you need it. Has this been your experience as well? Look at that. Choosing higher quality food, slowing down, chewing and eating in a calm environment goes a long way towards helping us lose weight. And we're not done yet. I still have two more steps you can take action on. Are you a spur of the moment adventure seeker or methodical and more planner? I have seasons where I want to wing everything, throw caution 
caution to the wind. In the moment, I feel absolutely great. But once I settle back into life, I realize that things are not as great as I thought they were. My sleep was erratic, energy inconsistent, and most alarming were the fluctuations in my hunger, leaning more towards overeating and weight gain. And I'm not just talking water weight gain. Actual, you can pinch and hold it fat gain. Every time I went down this slippery road, I would call and cry to my practitioner. Oh, what is going on? And she would always very calmly remind me that the resolve was super easy. All I needed to do was go back to eating at regular times. Meaning, as much as possible, I needed to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at about around the same time each day. Eating at regular meal times, my sleeping and my energy self-corrected themselves. Why? Because our bodies like and love consistency. When our body comes to expect nutrients and hydration at about regular times, we lower the risk of overeating from mindless nibbling here and there. When I eat at regular times, I experience less gas, bloating, and cravings. You know all those things that make our pants fit too tight. If you were to reflect over the last two or three days, what does a typical eating schedule look like for you? Comment below. Is it all over the place or is it pretty consistent? The saying goes, you are what you you eat and what you digest right and it must be because I did a whole video about how to achieve good digestibility for weight loss I will leave the link for you in the description below so right now let me share with you another quick weight loss aid that doesn't involve you cutting calories what it does is it supports liver function and revs up the metabolism but we need to go to my kitchen Boil one teaspoon each of cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds in four cups of water. Strain it and throughout the day enjoy one cup of this between each of your meals. And come back and let me know the changes that you notice. 